Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about how to make more cheddar. I know you want to make more money. I know you want to add more income into your business. So if you're a small business at all, or if you're a window cleaning company, more importantly, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. I hope you enjoy it. It's a podcast all about the business side of window cleaning. If you're in window cleaning, getting into window cleaning, or even thinking about it, uh, it's a halfway decent podcast. It's like four years of podcast shows every single week, so you got a lot of content to follow up on. Uh, but my name is Jersey. I am a rep with windowcleaner.com, window cleaning resource, and I want to be your rep. That's literally how I make more cheddar is by you allowing me to put your orders in. My number is 862-312-2026. Yes, this is a shameless plug. But if you want to give me a virtual high five that costs you absolutely nothing to do, like you can give me money. You can be like, dude, here, like virtual high five of awesomeness. Just letting me put the order in. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I get like credit for it. So if you're awesome, which I know you are, let me put your orders in. That's what I do. Big, small, it does not matter. Let me know. Even shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Man, run it. And I can go ahead and run that for you. That's literally what I do and how I do it. So if you haven't yet, use me as your rep. Because that's what I want to do. If you like stickers, all these window cleaning stickers that are behind me, all of them are window cleaning stickers. If you like window cleaning stickers, which we all do, and you want to A, support the industry, B, help me, and C, just have some amazing, awesome stuff, AWC Magazine, American Window Cleaner Magazine, awc.com, I'm sorry, awcmag.com, uh, American Window Cleaner Magazine, yes, you want to get it, $69 a year, get a subscription, be awesome, you're literally listening to or watching a podcast about business, why not? Get another piece that helps you use articles and pictures and, of course, stickers and everything else. And, again, that's like a double high five of awesomeness if you're using me as a rep and getting the magazine. So, yeah, go do that. Whew. Shameless plugs are done. You know, I, I I do the shameless plug every every episode. And I know there's a lot. I watch the, you know, we get, to, as you can hear, dings. Every order that's coming in, I can see. Some of you don't buy always through me, which is cool. No, it's not. I want all of your orders. <laughs> any order you want. Uh, you want to place any and every order. You can even shoot me a text. Put it all in your cart, and when you're ready to hit the go button, you just shoot me a text instead and be like, yo, my order's ready. Anyway, shameless plug. That's how I make money, so I have to tell you guys. But anywho, speaking of cheddar, if that's what you want, is to add some more uh, cheddar into your day, uh, into your business, you want to make a little bit more money, like how do we do that? Yes, you can go sell more jobs. Yes, you could raise prices. You could do all those other things, but I got a couple ideas that have really helped some people. I want to go a little into depth more on them. And uh, if you're looking to make more in your business, these are some really, really good ideas. And we're always looking to improve our business. I mean, that's literally what we do, right? I mean, every single day, every single week, month. Like, we want our business this year to be bigger than last year. Next year, bigger than this year, right? But you have to do that in steps. And there's a few things to do because you have to do every aspect. Here's, here's a, a little, you know, I love my metaphors. You know, when somebody is Usain Bolt, I don't even know that he's the fastest one anymore. But he's so fast that the only way that he can get faster is by changing a little thing, right? Like his shoes. The composite of the shoe may be a tenth of an ounce less, but it will help him be faster. That's where you're at in business. You always have to look for the big stuff, obviously. It's blinding and right in your face. But you also have to look for the little stuff. And you have to make little changes, right? Right? Here's some cool ideas for that. Uh, first is residential route. We call it resi route. If you don't know what residential route is, I'll explain it real quick. You have a house. You do the entire house, 20 windows, 25 windows, whatever it is. But then when you leave, you say, hey, we have a route program where we can do the top five, you know, your favorite five windows every single 
every two weeks. Just the outside. It's non-invasive. You don't need to know that we're coming. We just get it done. We clean those ones so they're always perfect, and then we continue doing the regular service. Right? You're building a route for residential windows. Right? Now, in that same sense, I always start my residential routes because route in general, you lose money, right? If you're driving all over town for 30 bucks or whatever, but I can do five windows, uh, every two weeks for 20 bucks. I can do that. You're like, well, that's less than, yes. Listen, you're just doing the outs. You're doing it on your schedule. You're filling it in when you're already in the neighborhood. Anyway, you're going to build it up and maybe you'll have 10 in that neighborhood, right? If you have 10 in that neighborhood, it'll take you all of an hour, hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, we'll say, if they're all real close, you're making 200 bucks. Residential route is a great way to A, stay relevant to your customers, right? The reason McDonald's advertises is because they need to stay relevant. Everybody knows who they are, but they still advertise, right? You need to stay relevant, meaning you're there every two weeks. They see your bills. They see your everything. You're always calling. You're letting them know they will use you forever because you're their company. As soon as somebody forgets you exist, you don't exist, right? But B, you make money. You are in a neighborhood more, which means they see your truck more. People see you. They're like, man, these, they're always in this neighborhood, this window cleaning truck. They're always there. Remember, if you drive a billboard, you need the billboard to be seen, right? All of those and you're making extra money for them. I know guys who are running really, really good residential route. You have to work on the technique because it's a new concept for a lot of people. So you have to work on a, a good sales technique to let people know what it is that it is, you know, but it's absolutely incredible if you can do it right. And it subsidizes, um, the areas you're already in anyway, right? If you're in big neighborhoods, we have neighborhoods here with 900, a thousand homes. If you're in that neighborhood, you're in the neighborhood quite a lot. And you happen to also do these route jobs. It really makes a lot of sense because you're already there. Why not get some more money? Anyway, residential route, super, super smart. Uh, the process itself takes a little bit of time to figure out, but really good. And, and here's one other thing on residential route. I know people always ask, um, they ask how frequent, right? Is like every six months they do it, but no, it is every two weeks, every two weeks. If you want to do once a month, I guess, but a big thing is, is that how fast can you clean a window that's done every two weeks? If you go every two weeks and then you go once a month, you've just doubled the dirt on the window and you're now making half the money. Think about that. Half the money for double the dirt. Doesn't much make sense. So you want to stay nice and frequent. Uh, you want to make sure these people are getting serviced. You're also super relevant. You can bill them once a month, but you do it every two weeks. Maybe every time you're there, you leave a little card. You get some flyers printed up or door hangers to say, hey, we serviced your five windows or whatever. Uh, if there's any questions, let us know. We'll see you in two weeks, right? So that they know you're there. You're always dropping stuff off. Be relevant. Be relevant. You know a place exists if you're using them, right? So residential route can be a great, great uh, way. Tailor it into your area, but uh, can really be pretty be beneficial. And speaking of route in general, if you're not doing route, do route. Route is storefronts. Uh, you again have to build up a route, but a healthy route, oh, so good, so good. I know there's some of you who don't like doing it. That's cool. You don't have to do everything, right? It's like some of you don't use water fed. I, I can't for the life of me understand why you wouldn't want to use water fed, but some of you don't. That's cool, right? Route is something that always fills a week, time, slots, days, all year round, no matter what the weather, frequency. And if you have a route with, say, a thousand jobs on it, right? That's a thousand times you have to be fired in order to lose that money. Like it's security, as much security as you possibly can have while having frequency and we don't have frequency in window cleaning right you do houses every three months every six months but i mean that's it you don't have like every two weeks stuff crazy 
right? But route in general, you have to optimize. I know I'm working with people right now, literally, that are optimizing their route, which is taking every route job they have and re refiguring the route path the fastest way they can. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, those of you who are doing that and rerouting your route this time of year, super beneficial because every two times a year, I would always redo my route, always optimize it. And you're always trying to add things in. But what happens is you start picking up all these jobs, especially if you're selling hard. If you're out there selling hard, it makes a big, big difference. But as you add stuff in, things become more compact and they become different and your route actually shifts. So instead of going up, you know, 3rd Avenue and hitting those places, you actually go on 16th and come back down 3rd, right? Using programs like Google or, um, uh, gosh, with MapQuest, not MapQuest. Anyway, search route. I mean, there's a lot of programs you can put, add a bunch of different things in there. It does take some time, but really beneficial to just figure it out. Again, optimizing, it makes you more money per hour if you can get tighter routes. Now, the more jobs you have, the more you need to optimize it. But after you're done optimizing route, you need to make sure you're going on weeks, not months. Let me explain that. So route is three options. <clears throat> two of which I actually like, one of them I don't. But it's weekly, bi-weekly, that's every two weeks, or every four weeks. Weekly, every two weeks, or every four weeks, <laughs> right? Don't do it on a monthly basis. Because a month, the third of the month lands on different days every single month. So you can't do that, right? You're going to be changing this rotating schedule and always be changing. But if you do it the, say, Monday the 2nd, but then you do it two weeks from then, and then two weeks from then, and two weeks from then, it doesn't matter where the lines uh, the lines match up. You're doing it two weeks every time on Monday. So you always know every other week on Monday, I am in this town. Or every other week on Monday, we are doing a route here, Right. It simplifies things, but it also allows you to take this. So say you do um, XYZ restaurant and you do this pet store. They're right next to each other. But the pet store you do once a week. The restaurant you do once a month or once every four weeks. Well, the two would never ever line up if you're doing monthly versus weekly, right? The week is always on a Monday, it's always on a Monday, but the once a month thing, it's always, you're not going to be figuring out because it's changing, right? If you do it weekly, week one is this one, week two is this one, week three is this one, week four is both of them, week five is this one, right? So they're always lining up. So you can always take places right next to each other, fill in that schedule, and it will automatically make that happen. Now, if you're doing weeks instead of months, how do you make more cheddar by doing that? A- if you can simplify the schedule, you're making more money, right? Tightening up routes in general. But B, you actually make two extra payments, or I should say two extra weeks throughout the year. Pretty beneficial. If you do something uh, every four weeks versus every 52 weeks, you can see where that happens. So you actually make more money. But again, in a route, if I can have five places on a street as opposed to one, I will make more money in all five of those, including that one. Because I'm there, I don't have to get back in the truck. I just boom, 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 boom. That's a strong, strong route. That's how you make more cheddar on route. Making more money on route, right? So optimize your route, but also go weekly, not monthly, right? Residential route, weekly. Or that's weeks, two weeks, four weeks. Weekly route, same thing, right? Going back to residential, and even maybe on the residential route side, you want to pair houses. Pair houses. Something that's really, really interesting um, that it doesn't happen a lot. I never fully dialed in the sales technique for getting uh, adding houses. I did on a lot of them, just not all of them. And here's one thing that I do. When you schedule a person, you call in for that week, you do whatever, right? I always tell people, and I've done it in uh, flyer form, I've done it in everything, I say, 
Um, and if you compare with your neighbors, I could take 10% off of everybody's service. And the reason is, is if I could do two houses right next to each other, I'm going to make way more money than if I split it up. Because they're right there. All the equipment's off the truck. I don't have to load up, drive off, find the place, park, unload, right? All that time saved. And I'm getting more people strong. I have a couple places where I do literally a cul-de-sac. Every house. I'm there all day. We send a crew and they park the truck in the middle. And they walk to all of them with all the gear. Boom, 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 boom. That's great. It's awesome. Right? I don't have to drive as much. I'm in an area for a super long time. And then because all of them are doing it, they talk to their neighbors and it just snowballs, 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 snowballs. Right? Pairing houses is really, really smart. Now, the problem with pairing houses is when they pair. So we'll talk about something later. But if you are scheduling somebody for, say, fall, you're scheduling this time of year. When do you start telling them or pushing the extra houses? And this is the the thing that maybe you, if you know, comment, let me know. This is where I kind of struggled in this one and really understanding the concept and trying to accelerate the concept. But if we call, we set it up for, say, September. Well, a week before their appointment, we call and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, just let you know we scheduled that appointment. It's coming up on Tuesday. We'll be there between 9 and 10 and just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, thanks again for everything. And I always bring up upsells like, Hey, you know, uh, did you think about gutters or did you need any other services done while we're there on site? Right. Again, your schedule starts to fill up. So that is pushing things a little bit, but a lot of services like adding gutter cleaning may only add an hour. One person, the other person's cleaning up. It really isn't adding too much time to push your entire schedule, but I'm making more money. But then on an entire house, I can't necessarily the week before be like, hey, Mrs. Jones, oh, by the way, did you talk to any of your neighbors? Did you want to? Well, yes, they did. I got two neighbors. Well, you can't, you don't have the time to add the houses, right? So anyway, work on that part. But I really, really like the pairing of houses in residential. Now, resi route is completely different. Obviously, you want to pair everything you possibly can. Now, I don't do the discount of that, um, but I will let them know that for every house that they add on, I'll give them free window cleaning. Uh, and that's again, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, so not a big deal, but now I have two of them, which means I'm making $50 every time I stop my truck. Right? So pairing houses can be super beneficial. It's compacting the work and making it, uh, more dense. Remember density in what we do is the absolute best thing. Um, as, as a side note, if you've ever seen somebody who's a dog poop picker upper collector, whatever their fancy name is, maybe you do that. I don't know. But you always wonder, like, how at, you know, $12, $15 a stop does it make sense, right? That's a lot of driving and a crappy, no pun intended, job to make that much, right? The point of them and how they do that is because they want five houses around each other. If they can get in an entire neighborhood, they're really only doing five minutes of work, right? They're doing five minutes of bad work, right? But if you could do a bunch of houses, think how many houses, especially if they're in a tight neighborhood, you could do in one hour. That's how that works in the route stuff, right? That's why anything with a route is cheaper because boom, 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 boom. You don't tell me when I can show up and I can charge you less, right? Because now you're filling time, you're doing, there's a bunch of benefits per route. Route in general, residential route or regular route is really, really beneficial. Yeah. This isn't a route show. I'm not going to tout route, but you know. <laughs> uh, another one that I talk about a lot. These last two are big ones. The, the one is the call list and it's in that time now. And if you're a customer of window cleaning resource, you're probably going to get a call from me or John or Steve-O or somebody. Like we just take our lists and call everybody that hasn't ordered relatively recently and be like, Hey, just calling, catching up with you, seeing if there's anything we can do for you. Are there any questions, any gear you need? Well, in your world or the world that I used to be in a window cleaning, we would call twice a year, pre-spring and pre-fall, right? These are to pick up anybody who straggled by and didn't set up another appointment. So we always cross reference as we pull it up. I search the calendar. It takes two seconds to go. Mrs. Jones, is she not in the calendar? Okay. 
Call her up. Mrs. Jones, this is Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. Hey, we're just putting together our spring schedule, and I didn't see you on there, and I thought I would call to see if um, Tuesday at uh, 3 p.m. would work for you still. Asking the questions and getting the people and getting them in. Now, if you call in a call list and you're like, hey, uh, do you want window cleaning done this time? Well, you've asked a yes or no question. So you have to structure it in the questions to get the best ROI. Because, again, when people see sales, and sales in anything, you're selling yourself all the time. Yes, I do sales for window cleaning resource, but if you've dealt with me, it never, well, should, I uh, hope, try very hard, never, ever, ever to have it feel like being sold. Because all sales is, is for me to explain what we have. You got questions, let me answer them, tell you what the best option is, and it's your decision if you want to go with that option, right? Everybody hates sales because it's pushy. If you're in that side where you're like, go to somebody and they're like, oh, cool, how much is that? It's uh, $30. Yeah, you want it? No, I'm good. No, okay, okay, $28. No, I'm good. Oh, it's going to go to $20. Like you're getting pushed into the sale. It doesn't make any sense. That's uncomfortable. That's why sales has a horrible name. But if you call somebody who's had you out and done their windows every six months for the past three years, Mrs. Jones loves it. She's so happy every time you do the windows. If you call, Mrs. Jones' last time was Tuesday at 3 in the afternoon. If you call and say, hey, Mrs. Jones, it's Jersey from Window Cleaning Resource. We're putting together your uh, our spring schedule, and we noticed you weren't on it. Now, last time we did window cleaning, it was uh, on a Tuesday between you know, 3, 2, and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and I actually have a slot open Tuesday the 17th. And it's, again, between 2 and 3. I know you like that time. Is that uh, is that work for you? Get you on the skill schedule? Instantly, their brain is like, oh, yeah, okay, so I know who they are. Oh, we have done service for me before. Oh, yeah, I remember the feeling I have when I did the service. That is the time that I really like. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for calling. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. I would have forgot, you know, and about, uh, has it been that long? You know, all of those things. I've never, I've had one person Maybe more than one person. But I think one person I can actually remember. I doubt it was more than one. One person who was like, why are you calling me? And I'm like, I'm sorry. You know, we, we've done service for you before. I'm just trying to catch up. Oh, I don't, blah, 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 blah. He's, Take me off your list. Don't spam me. It's illegal. I was hung up. I was like, whoa. All right. I jump into the account and I'm like starting to remove information. I get a phone call. The guy calls. He goes, oh my gosh. This is, Mrs. this is Mr. Jones. I said, hey, man, I'm so sorry we called you again. I'm removing you right now. He goes, no, 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 no. Don't remove me. I remember who you are. When you said it, I didn't understand the name, and I thought you were just soliciting, but we've used you for years. I said, absolutely. You know, I, I hope we've done great work for you. And, you know, if we, if we haven't, you know, I'd call it. No, 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 your work's absolutely amazing. I just thought you were a telemarketer at first. That's it. He's scheduled. The only person who's ever been mad at me for calling them ended up scheduling. I've never had somebody be disappointed we called. The biggest thing, the problem that people say is like, oh, I'm not bugging my customers. No, that's put, no, 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 no. You're not bugging your customers. You're not. If your customers need water to survive, right? Or say they need air, they need to breathe. But if they really liked breathing, they really enjoyed it, it was good for them. They liked it. And they were happy every time you told them to breathe. Well, if you notice they haven't breathed in a while, you go, hey, take a breath. And they go, oh, gosh, thank you. Everybody's happy because they know that was a great thing that you did. Same thing with sales. Think of the experience you're providing. Think of your window cleaning. Nobody ever, well, unless you do crap work. <laughs> but nobody ever has gotten their window cleaning and been like, oh, this is a stupid, oh, I can't believe this. Ugh, I hate it. I'm so mad that I did that. No, everybody's happy. Every single person, 100% of the time, is happy that they did that because their windows look so great. Oh, it turned out great. Oh, look at the light. Oh, I can look outside. Oh, I can. You're making people happy. If you know that they want window cleaning, you know you made them happy. What is stopping you from asking if they want to be happy again? Window cleaning is uh, a repetitive job. It is not like selling a roof and then calling them a year later and be like, oh, you like that roof? You want another one? Well, no, I don't need or want a roof. Call me in 20 years. Right? 
Those are one-off jobs. Those are places and people and things that they have to advertise every single customer because their repeat customers take so long to cycle. With window cleaning, our customer base 100% can be repeat and our cycles can be way smaller, right? So all you're doing is letting them know, hey, we're here again. We'd love to get you on the schedule. Remember how awesome you felt that one time? We want to do it again. Twice a year, it fills up your calendar like nothing else you ever believe. And more people say thank you. More people are like, oh my gosh, thanks for letting me know. Thanks for calling. I would have forgotten. Hey, you know what? You got a life to live. Window cleaning is our life. So we keep it in our brain and we'll always remind you. Don't you worry about that. That's my ploy. That's my 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 pitch. Speaking of call list, you spend time to do the call list. If you don't do this next part, you call everybody on your list. That takes so long. So long. Right? The dentist close is by far the greatest thing you will ever do for the financial and uh, growth structure of your business. Quote it. Tell me I said it. Write it down. The dentist close will be the greatest thing you ever do for the structure and financial well-being of your business. Let me explain. I've talked about it a bunch of times. I'm going to go a little into depth. The dentist close is exactly this. I get done with Mrs. Jones. And again, you have to get past the fear of being a business. You have to get past the fear of making people happy. That's what you do. Nobody needs window cleaning. We're a luxury. We provide an experience. That's why I say clean windows doesn't matter. Cleaning windows doesn't matter. A clean window doesn't matter. It's the experience. Yeah, you can't do crap work. But hear me out. Dentist close. If I go to Mrs. Jones' place, we get everything done. I have that intro. I do my upsell, let them know all the services we offer. They get done, do everything. Oh, everything's great. Have you looked at the windows? Let's walk through your place. We walk through everything, and uh, I say at the very end, I collect a check every single time, every single time. I collect a check. If they don't have a check, I take a credit card, which more probably more people are doing credit cards now. We could take a credit card right now. We just need to receive payment before we leave the property. Um, that client closes out the, the bill right? But the dentist closes this. After everything is done, I go, okay, great, Mrs. Jones. I'm glad you're absolutely happy. Thank you for everything. Uh, so for your next appointment, we have an availability in three months, or did you want to wait all the way to six months? Well, most people be like, um, uh, let's actually do six months, six months from now. Okay, great. Well, uh, right now, you know, blah, blah, blah. Six months puts you into September 3rd. I have a same appointment, same time. I was trying to stick the same times between nine and 10 a.m., uh, does that work for you? And by the way, we're going to go ahead and call you the week before just to remind you. Uh, but uh, that sounds good for you. I know it's a ways out there, but oh yeah, let me get my calendar. Put it on the put it on the calendar. Look at it. Great. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so very much. And if anything comes up before, then let me know. Uh, again, remember all those other services we offer. So if that roof or the gutters or the siding wash or house wash or concrete or whatever is just really driving you nuts, let us know. We can always come out before the next service. Guess what? I leave that job and I have the next one booked. And it's in six months. Let's sit back and think about this. If you have 100 customers and all of them book for six months, lots of them are going to do three months. But we'll just say to kind of, because, you know, sometimes like, 2% of people, literally, two people out of those 100 will not get like, ah, well, let's wait and see, right? Well, you did something wrong because they didn't enjoy the experience, first off. But maybe they're worried, maybe they're not. Now you have to call those people, so there'll always be a call list. But say 100 people book for six months. Now in a 12-month period, you have 200 jobs. 200 jobs. You've just doubled your work by this one close. If for some reason I, there's some freak anomaly, some freak thing that happens that this 
is not the most amazing thing that you'll ever do in your life. And uh, for some reason, you ask one person and they say yes. Just one. One person. Your average ticket happens to be $329, right? If everybody else is going to do it once a year, which again, people wait years because they like two years later, they're like, oh my gosh, I haven't had you in so long. We know that. You just made another $329. Just one thing. This one thing helped you sell another job. Where this all comes into play is that when you look at this and you put everything together, everybody who schedules more and more and more, it compounds. This year you have 100 customers. Next year you have 200 customers, but you're still doing those other 100 every six months. Those new 100 do it. Now you're doing 400 jobs Right? Two, two. Yeah, 400 jobs a year. Like This is how things compound. You want to make more money. You want to make more cheddar. That's how you do it. Do the dentist clothes. I'm telling you right now, out of everything I've ever talked about ever, and this is why I beat this one up, I've gotten more text messages about the dentist clothes, emails, text messages, uh, chats on uh, windowcleaner.com, all that stuff absolutely amazing it's changed my business i've been doing it for one week and every single person's rescheduled yeah when you get your brain over that when you go to the dentist you never ever have ever in all of your life left a dentist cleaning regular dentist appointment without having your next dentist appointment they gotta figure it out because if they didn't do that guess what people wouldn't go to the dentist right how many people go to the dentist and leave the dentist without their next appointment. A fraction. A fraction. If you have a crew, all you have to do is plan six months worth of work. Because the next six months is going to be just auto-rotating. Because you're going to have the same jobs, right? It's absolutely mind-boggling. I'll get off of it. It's a dentist close. Maybe I'll go in more in-depth in some other time. I've already gone longer. But if you want me to make more cheddar, Yeah. Let me put your orders in. Shameless plug, but this is what I do literally. Shoot me a text. I have like hundreds of people, hundreds of people a week that just text me and be like, yo, Jersey, it's in my cart. Put it in. I love it. There's so many of you. Oh, geez, I've been doing this for years. I'm your guy. Every order you've ever placed has gone through me, and it's absolutely amazing. I want everybody. I want everybody. It's what I do. It's how I make cheddar, and it's how I, uh, yeah, how I feed myself. So if you want to give me a virtual high five, or you just want to be an awesome human being, let me put your order in. 862-312-2026. And if you want, and you do, American Window Cleaner Magazine, all of these, every issue, every single month, every issue comes with stickers, every single month. They're all window cleaning stickers, by the way. Uh, this is just one month's one. I got the one clip, two clip on there so you can represent. Um, yeah. Corey with the uh, spot free. Um, yeah, I mean, there's even stack letters in this other one. I mean, super, super uh, interesting. Any kind of stickers, uh, you get that with every single issue. And be part of the culture. Be awesome. Go to awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get your subscription. I'm going. I've talked too long already, but until next week, go out there and be epic.